Hi, welcome. In this short tutorial I'm just going to record a video to remind myself, I guess, and uh, anyone else who's interested, how to create an open-ended path like this one where the stroke doesn't actually cross it, uh, across here or across here. I required that when I was trying to draw a digestive system in, se in sections or parts. I didn't want a, a line across here. So I'll show you how we did that. I'll just uh, scroll down. First, let's create a stroke. You can use Bezier pen tool or pencil tool, whatever. And uh, there's your stroke. Now under fill and stroke, I'll pump that up to say 5 millimeters, And there it is. And what I'm going to do is give it a yellow stroke, shift and click the colour while you're operating with a stroke. But if you want to change it to a path, you can go stroke to path under the path menu. And if I hit the end for the node too, you can see there are nodes all around there. So it's actually an object now with a stroke around it, but the stroke is uh, clear. So if I shift click the black, there we go. Uh, so I've got to subject the object. <coughs> I'll go to the selection tool, the proper selection tool. Shift click the object and that's a 5mm stroke all around which is a skewered the actual object so I'll change the stroke to actually 0.3 mm and there we have it but uh, we've got the ends closed off and what I'll do is I'll click on that and control D to duplicate and drag it across here now on this one I'm going to remove the stroke again uh, shift and click this across here and on this one I'm going to change the fill to nothing so just the cross without the shift key now N for the node tool and if I select those two nodes I'm going to remove the line segment joining them. Likewise down here remove the line segment joining them using this icon here and you can see now I've got the separate fill and the stroke that's open ended. If I try to do all this together on the one object you get fills trying to join up from start to finish and all sorts of odd effects. So now I can just drag this back or shift click both of them and align them under the align and distribute uh, tab here and here if I need to and you can see there I've got an open uh, stroke open uh, object if I select the lot control G to group it means I can click on anything and drag it around if you wanted to change the color careful if you just click on it when it's grouped and say change it to pink see what I mean about joining things up so that's not what I wanted control Z control click on the color and just selects the colour only, then I get the desired effect. If it's not grouped, control U to ungroup. Yes, I can just click on the colour and change it. But um, if it's grouped, you can tr control click. Trouble is, if it's not grouped and you click that and try to drag it, you can remove it, so I prefer to group. Select it all, control G to group. Again, to change the colour, control key, select it. So control click to select and then you can hit the colour that you want. Okay, hope that helps but at least it's a recording of how I did this. Next time I forget how to do it I can check my own video. Thanks again for watching.